YouTube, Topaz Yates back with another daily review and this time we're going into this Kanye West, that real friends and that no more parties in LA featuring Ty Dolla Sign and Kendrick Lamar. In which last night Kim Kardashian came out with a tweet saying that Kanye West is going to drop a new track every Friday hidden on out and since then she's deleted it and shit but she seems to be on to something and it makes sense because she's the closest person to Kanye because he indeed dropped these tracks that he came together as one man and you know what? Honestly, I like the concept of it. What Kanye is rapping about here is the fact that he's just a shitty cousin, a shitty friend all the way around, man. Like, he will not talk to his friends and cousins and family members and shit for years on out. When he talks to these people, he never wants to hear any real deep shit. It's more of some petty, superficial shit to let's do something right now. He'll be in town for like a week and he won't call no motherfucking body until like the last day. Just being an overall asshole about it. And you know, this isn't anything new, different and shit, man, because this is kind of how people work. When you come up on some money, come up on some fame, you already become kind of self-conscious of the fact that people are probably only coming at you so they can come up with this and shit. So therefore, most people, they kind of back away from the people who was closest to them before the fact and everything, man. Now, in this song, Kanye is going the extra mile with that shit, but ultimately, he's not doing anything wrong, man. But yet, in the end, he kind of concludes the song like his cousin got a laptop with him fucking holes and shit on it and extorted him for 250,000 fucking dollars and he said he kind of had that one coming for being such a shitty fucking friend's shitty fucking cousin and no you didn't Kanye that's some bullshit in which that type of person you should have known to go ahead and discontinue a relationship with from the beginning. I don't care how successful someone close to me and shit gets I'm not going to fuck them over even if they just start ignoring me and all of that shit I'm not going to be that petty and shit try to get my own come up. And Here's just the real deal about this situation, man. If you were to come up, you don't have to ignore all your family members and everything like that that you was cool with. You can still be cool with them, but yet when they come at you asking for money, like Kanye said how they try to call him up and just be like, I just wanted to hear from you, dog," and then in the same breath ask for some fucking money, in which that frustrates the fuck out of everybody who that ever happens to. But you don't have to pay them this fucking money, man, simply because money is not the fucking issue. What Kanye could do is take his power and influence and take these people who's asking for money and put them in a position where they can succeed and build their own. And if they're not with that, then you already know what type of person they are. They just some foolish shit fucking people. That's really how you deal with this situation. But overall, as a track man, feel as though the production was rather dry which Kanye produced with Boy Wonder and some other people which Boy Wonder, again, on the dry side of the production. Really didn't enjoy that hook by Ty Dolla Sign, man. Overall, not that entertaining of a track. But I definitely do recommend people to peep it out just for the concept alone. But then on to the second track on here, which is that No Parties in LA featuring Kendrick Lamar. We only getting like 30 seconds of this shit, man. Which is very interesting that he would have a track saying, I'm not having any more parties in LA type shit and have Kendrick on it. Like, it kind of comes off by me talking about it. He's not fucking with LA at all, but that's just not what this concept is. It's more of just on some party, wilding out, just saying whatever the fuck comes to your mind type shit. In which that's what's interesting about it because he's decided to go back and forth with Kendrick Lamar in which Kendrick Lamar is a vastly superior fucking artist. So he's very bold by doing that but he's in his own element. Just by talking some crazy shit Kanye's going to hold his own on this track but yet overall with the little bit that we've heard from this man I'm not that impressed man. I think it does have some potential but so far not that impressed with it. But this concludes today's review man and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from Underground producer Jamil Waters before we jump into the news and do an article from downloadpass.com. came out in the news saying that he's going to drop three projects this year and his last one is going to be his very last project like he's retiring after that fact simply because he's going at an alarming rate that he really just gets tired from and I ain't even mad at him for that shit dude. I mean when you know your time is running up and you're not as passionate as you once was man don't hold on just for the money like say Eminem has been doing like say Lil Wayne has been doing. Go out on a high note and then if you get that passion back 
come back later. But anyway, on to today's article from downloadpass.com. And today's article is about questioning black businesses, man. Because this is very fucking annoying, man. Because when you're doing business as a black man, you would hope that people would just pay for the service that they want. That's just common fucking sense. You see these same people going into buying Jordan shoes and shit. They don't never complain to these shoe stores that they charging too damn much. They don't ever try to get a damn discount from these shoe stores. Nobody ever talks to Jordan and tell them, you need to come down on these prices so I can do it. No, they're happy to buy this expensive bullshit that's not going to do anything for them. But when dealing with a black business, because don't get it twisted, Jordan Jordan is working with Nike and all that shit. It's not his 100% business. He's just the front person for it and he's making a shit ton of money for doing that. But when you're dealing with a straight up black business, man, these people gonna come up like, you charging way too much. I can get this and this from this store. You need to really come down on these prices. Like, dude, you be so full of shit and you only do that for us. Go into Walmart and do that shit. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.